Hello everyone. I am making this video because I was curious as to see which of the two locator beacons were brighter, the Sport Dog locator beacon or the Guardian Adventure lights. As you can see, um, I have both lights here and the accessories that they come with. This is the Sports Dog locator beacon. Uh, it comes on a mount for a one inch collar. You can place this adapter on the inside to put it, to use it on a three quarter inch collar, which is wonderful. That's what uh, my dog actually uses. And then it also comes with a carabiner if you want to hang it from their neck or whatever is convenient for you. Um, the thing that I noticed on the sports dog locator beacon is that this is not, the button here is not a press button. You actually have to hold it for all the modes on, off, and changing the um, patterns. So a lot, I know a lot of people were complaining that the button didn't work, it didn't click, it didn't turn on, what's going on, you got to use a pin, you know, you got to use 15,000 pounds of pressure. Well, for me, I found that the, if you just hold it for a second or two, that the, I <laughs> guess I didn't hold it far enough in, <laughs> that the light, there we go, that the light will turn on and uh, shine. Now for this, you have to hold it for two or three seconds to turn on. You hold it again for two or three seconds to get it to strobe. I hope the camera's actually picking that up. And then you act from there, from any of them, you have to hold it for seven seconds before it turns off. So I know that um, Sports Dog tries to explain that. They have uh, instructions on how to open the device and how to gain access to the batteries. The batteries actually come out of the device uh, in the package. They're not installed, so you have to install them. But if you just simply press and hold the button for a couple of seconds, you'll get the mode that you want for that light. Now for the Guardian light, they have a little bit different system. It also comes on a um, one inch mount for a collar. But as opposed to a button, they have a turn system. And if you turn it like you're closing it or making it tighter, ready, tighty, lefty, loosey, um, it will turn on. And then to turn it off, I'm trying to do this one-handed here, you turn it off, you just simply go back. Now, they also offer a Velcro strap if you want to kind of make it a semi-permanent or temporary system. They also have this bracket that snaps in, whoops, sorry I dropped it. They also make this bracket here that has uh, open, it has an opening at the bottom so you can put it on Molly. You could mount it on some sort of screw, but these two tabs here and here go in the light here and here. And you can actually take them out. It's a little hard, but you can take this adapter off if at a later date, if you put it in and then don't need it. So the thing, the one thing that is a little strange to me, and I don't know how they did it. I'm obviously not an engineer, but when you turn this on, the batteries dictate which type of pattern you have. You have a flash pattern, a steady pattern, and off. So to switch from flash to steady, I have to take these batteries and turn them over. You didn't see it, but I actually turned them all the way over, 180 degrees. And then I simply have to get the batteries inside the green light, screw it down, and now it 
is a solid light. It doesn't blink at all. Again, the on off is just by twisting it. You twist it tighter to make it turn it on. You loosen it to turn it off. Um, I have heard from other people that I guess the Secret Service use these possibly. I'm not, I don't have any other data than just what I've heard. But for me, when I look at both of these lights, I've looked at them from straight on. You know, the camera isn't really doing it justice. You can't get both lights at the same time to look as bright as they do. But when you look down at the side of them, they are the same. They're like the same brightness. Now, the only difference is when they sit there like this, the Guardian is in front and the Sport Dog is in back. The Sport Dog is just a little bit higher. Just a little bit. But I think that if you put this, you know, you put it on, put this device on, now the guardian is higher so to me the guardian is simply easier because if you have gloves on or something you can still manipulate it you can still turn the dial with gloves on this it would definitely be a lot harder um i like the design that it you put it on <clears throat> excuse me i like the design that you push and hold the button because that way you don't have any accidental trips. You don't accidentally turn it on. You don't actually accidentally change the mode and things like that. Um, now, both lights come in your standard colors, red, blue, orange, white, and green. Um, I personally got green because I felt that green was the best that I could see at night uh, with my dog. I have a brown and black uh, dog that just blends into the shadows and I wanted something to be able to see her when she goes out in the yard. I really, really, really wanted to like Sports Dog. I have been looking at their training collars, their dummies, all of their devices, but unfortunately with Guardian and how easy it is to change the on off switch and change from flash to steady I'm gonna have to go with the Guardian I unfortunately I really don't want to um, they don't make as many dog products as sports dog does but I hope that maybe sports dog sees this and they take it into consideration that maybe they need to up their product a little bit because there's obviously a lot of confusion on how to turn it on and turn it off online and you know people think about that they think about is this going to be easy to work with in the field or not so that's my two cents I made this video because I couldn't find any reference or comparison between the Guardian and the sports dog locator beacons so I hope this helps anyone out there who's looking and I hope you have a wonderful day God bless